So we're going to start right off with ultramarine blue. And then again, this is just right on top of the sketch paper that I just worked on. And I'm going to introduce some color into the hat. Get a little bit of water and soften that down. Leave a little bit of color there. And you note that I'm not covering everything up. I like to leave a little bit of paper showing, white paper. Go, and I let a little bit of that burnt sienna go right back up into the hat and down into the face. And then we're going to come, I'm going to mix the ultramarine blue and the burnt sienna together so that I can get a nice, see what a nice gray that makes. And I can go in here and begin to find the shadow shapes and introduce those into the shirt and just link those right on down. Go across to the other side and show that linking shadow shape. And I want to introduce a little bit of burnt sienna down inside of his because I note that his shirt is open, so we'll just let a little bit of that. And while we've got this color on our brush, we'll just go in there and put it right on the hands. You see how quickly that works. Even a little bit of that color wouldn't be bad to have it introduced into the um, gray color because it has a tendency to be kind of cool. So I like to have overall warm with accent of cool or overall cool with accent of warm. In this particular painting, it will be an overall cool painting with an accent of warm. And even though we're just using two colors, we can still accomplish everything that we need to make this work with just a simple, simple palette. 